where are all new incarnations like? Why would these spirit mates be attracted to us as new incarnations, you know, as new souls? Why would they be attracted to you? Yeah, why are they latching onto us? Why are they here? Oh, there's lots of reasons. Um, and uh, it would take me a whole discussion of a couple of hours to explain them all. There's a, there's a book that I've written that I'd suggest you take with you that will explain five of the reasons. But the primary reason is the law of attraction occurs in the spirit world as much as it occurs here. So they are attracted to you to get something from you in most cases. Now in some cases it's to do to get something from you in terms of knowledge. In some cases it's to get something from you in terms of an experience that they're now missing out on because they're in the spirit world. For example, and people who over drink, for example, get drunk on a daily basis. Most of them have a spirit around them who is also trying to get drunk on a daily basis, using their body to do it. Does that make sense? How many of you have got drunk to the point where you're totally oblivious, but still upright and managed to drive home or do something like that? How many of you have done that in the past? Uh, a few. Well, a spirit did that for you. Right? The reason why is because they wanted to drink and they don't have drink in the spirit world. Does the same apply to sex? The same applies to sex, the same applies to drugs, the same applies to many experiences. Have anyone here experiencing manic depression? Okay. Manic depression is the result of spirit attachment. How many people experience schizophrenia? Schizophrenia is the result of spirit attachment. That's why in many cases schizophrenia is onsetted by drug abuse. Um, they can have things to do with that, um, certainly. In fact, most of mankind's illnesses have a huge amount of influence by spirits. For example, there was one child, uh, one lady I was talking to about her daughter, and her daughter was dying of leukemia, and I could feel that it was because of her grandmother who had passed, who died of cancer, influencing the granddaughter so much that the granddaughter was dying of leukemia. Once the, gr the grandmother in the spirit world realised what she was doing, because she didn't know, she stepped back from the daughter energetically, and the daughter got better. She didn't die. Was the grandmother The grandmother was in the first sphere, what, feeling a feeling of love, what she thought was love, to this grandchild. But in reality, because of the transaction, the grandmother still believed she had cancer in the spirit world and she was influencing the creation of cancer within her grandchild. These things happen all the time. So, um, is it the emotional attachment, like say to the grandmother, to the child that still has the influence through their emotional attachment? Um, well, children are very, very mediumistic. Most of you would know that probably any time you had children, they probably told you about monsters or they talk to friends sometimes and, and you say, oh, they're invisible, what are you talking to? Well, they're talking to real people, right? And most children are very mediumistic. We turn it off in them. And when they're very mediumistic, it makes it easy for a family member who's passed who has problems to influence them. Yeah, because my ex-partner said, as a young child, he had nightmares for friends. He used to see every night when he went to bed. But his parents, parents condition and was to always deny that um, experience he was trying to That's right, yeah. Most children will know far more about the spirit world than most adults, for that reason, because most adults have switched it all off.